with people, you can put too much on a person in a very small amount of time and have them shut down where they're just overwhelmed. I mean, we've all had that happen to us when we were in school. Maybe a particular teacher that wasn't very effective, that wasn't very good, just went through the motions and just flooded you with information that they didn't really make sure that you were getting it. And you just shut down and just said, look, this is something I'm pretty sure I can't do. There's always that with the horse to consider that if if I do too much in too little time and I'm not patient, he's going to shut down and I won't get anything done. At first, on a horse that that really has no idea what you're looking for, you need to be able to go from pressure to a release, which in that case is no pressure. It's really not a confusing thing. It's just that people don't want to listen or don't want to let go. And they'll say, I did release. Well, going from 50 pounds prying on a horse to 40 pounds is not a release. You can find another way to describe it, but it's not a gray area. You'd have not released. Release means just what it is, no pressure. And that relief of pressure, an absolute calmness between the horse and the human, is the only way a young horse can learn. As the horse gets more advanced, the physical amount of pressure that one might put on, let's say the reins, it's going to be less and less over time. It takes less of the physical to get the horse to respond. Therefore, the release will be more subtle, always existent, but more subtle. But at first, you have to exaggerate the release so that it is crystal clear to the horse that he absolutely did something right. You have to learn to let go. But if you don't have an independent seat, if you don't have good balance and the confidence that you can ride without balancing on a horse's mouth, you can find every way in the world to justify not letting go. But that is one of the major ways that you would communicate to your horse what it is you're looking for. Now there's things that you would release with your legs as well. When you're asking the horse to respond laterally or straight forward, you might apply something physical with the leg and then the leg has to change. The pressure has to go away. Whatever it was that was motivating the horse to go, something has to stop so that the horse understands what it was you were looking for. So as long as the horse understands you, that's all that really matters.